It is one of the most ancient and primal confrontations in the natural world. A battle of archetypes that has played out in jungles, deserts, and grasslands for millions of years. On one side, the snake, a creature of cold, patient lethality, a legless hunter that has perfected the art of the ambush and the science of the venomous strike. On the other, the cat, a furry, four-legged predator of lightning reflexes and surgical precision. When these two hunters meet, the outcome seems almost predetermined. In a dizzying display of speed, agility, and apparent courage, the cat almost always emerges the victor. But why? How does a creature of warm blood and soft fur so consistently dominate a creature that is essentially a living, venomous weapon? The answer is not about strength, or size, or even aggression. It is a story of a profound and overwhelming neurological advantage. A tale of two brains operating on different planes of reality. It is a battle of hardware versus software, and the cat is running a supercomputer. To understand the cat's dominance, we must first respect its opponent. The snake is an evolutionary masterpiece. For over 100 million years, it has been perfecting a single, devastating strategy. The strike. A venomous snake's head is one of the most advanced weapons delivery systems on the planet. The fangs are hypodermic needles, evolved to inject a complex cocktail of neurotoxins and hemotoxins with terrifying efficiency. The strike itself is a blur of motion, an explosion of stored energy that is almost too fast for the human eye to register. The snake is a specialist, a creature that has dedicated its entire being to perfecting one lethal move. This perfection is the result of a long and brutal evolutionary arms race, primarily against the rising tide of mammals. This arms race began tens of millions of years ago. The ancestors of modern cats, the Mayakids, were small, weasel-like carnivores. The snakes of that era were simpler, but as mammals became faster and smarter, the snakes had to upgrade their arsenal. This led to the evolution of the vipers and the elipids, with their sophisticated, foldable fangs and potent, fast-acting venoms. The snake's strike became its checkmate move, a single, perfect attack designed to end the fight before the mammal's superior strength and intelligence could come into play. And yet, the modern cat defeats it. The first and most critical reason is a concept we can call the reflex gap. To a human, a snake's strike seems instantaneous. The average human reaction time is about 200 milliseconds. A venomous snake's strike can be as fast as 50 to 90 milliseconds. We are simply too slow to even perceive the attack before it connects. But a cat is not a human. A cat's reaction time is a stunning 20 to 70 milliseconds. This is a profound, almost unbelievable difference. It means that a cat is operating on a completely different time scale. It can see the snake begin its strike, analyze its trajectory, and command its own body to move out of the way before the snake has even reached its target. Its target. What looks like a lucky dodge to us is, to the cat, a calculated and almost leisurely evasion. This incredible speed is hardwired into its very being a product of specialized neural pathways and an abundance of fast twitch muscle fibers, all coordinated by a highly developed cerebellum, the brain's motion control center. This incredible speed is not just in the cat's body, it is in its brain. This is the second and most important advantage, the neurological hardware. A snake has a reptilian brain, it is an ancient and efficient piece of machinery, but it is primarily reactive, driven by instinct and simple threat responses. A cat has a mammalian brain. It is a far more complex and powerful processing unit. The cat's brain, with its large cerebral cortex, is capable of incredible feats of prediction, learning, and strategy. It is the difference between a basic calculator and a modern computer. When a cat confronts a snake, it is not just reacting. 
it is running a complex threat assessment. Its brain is processing the snake's species, its size, its posture, and its movement. And it is constantly calculating the snake's strike radius, the bubble of danger around the snake's head. You can see this in the famous videos of cats and snakes. The cat will often sit just outside this invisible line, its body tense, its eyes locked, watching, waiting, and learning. It is not frozen in fear, it is gathering data. This superior processing power allows the cat to anticipate the snake's moves and to formulate a plan of attack in real time. This plan leads us to the third reason for the cat's dominance, its biomechanical toolkit. A snake has one weapon, its head. All of its offensive and defensive capabilities are concentrated in that single point. If that point is controlled, the snake is neutralized. A cat, on the other hand, has five weapons, four paws armed with razor-sharp protractile claws and a mouth full of piercing teeth. The cat's strategy is a master class in using this toolkit. It will almost never rush in. Instead, it begins a campaign of psychological warfare and tactical strikes using its paws. The famous paw batting is not play. Each of those lightning-fast strikes is a test, a probe, a calculated blow. It is a way to gauge the snake's speed, to trigger a premature strike and force the snake to expend precious energy, and to harass and confuse its reptilian opponent. The cat's paws are the perfect multi-tool. They are packed with nerve endings, giving the cat incredible proprioception, the sense of where its body is in space. They can be used for a soft testing tap or a hard, stunning blow. And crucially, the claws can be extended in an instant to act as grappling hooks, pinning the snake's head to the ground from a safe distance. Only when the snake is exhausted, confused, and its head has been controlled by the paws, does the cat move in for the final decisive move. The killing bite. A cat's bite is not random. It is a precise surgical strike, an instinct honed over millions of years, almost always aimed at the back of the snake's head or neck. This bite is designed to insert its long canine teeth between the vertebrae, severing the spinal cord. It is an instant kill switch, a neurological shutdown that paralyzes and kills the snake immediately. It is the culmination of a battle that was won not by brute force, but by superior speed intelligence, and a more versatile set of weapons. The final piece of the puzzle is the cat's sensory advantage. A cat's eyes are set forward on its head, giving it superb binocular vision. This provides excellent depth perception, which is absolutely critical for judging the precise distance of a striking snake's head. Its hearing is also incredibly acute able to pick up the faint rustling sounds of a snake moving through grass, giving it an early warning long before a human would be aware of the danger. Of course, the word always is a dangerous one in nature. This is not to say cats win every encounter. Say a cat is invincible. There are exceptions where the snake's strategy can overcome the cat's advantages. A very large, powerful constrictor like a python or a boa presents a different kind of threat. Its weapon is not a single strike, but its entire body. If it can land a successful coil, the cat's speed and agility are nullified. The fight becomes a contest of pure, crushing power, a battle the cat is likely to lose. Similarly, a hypervenomous and incredibly fast snake like a black mamba operates on a razor's edge where the cat's margin for error is zero. The mamba can strike multiple times in a second, and its potent neurotoxic venom can kill in minutes. In this scenario, the cat's superior reflexes are tested to their absolute limit. One mistake, one glancing blow, and the fight is over, even if the cat wins the initial physical confrontation. But in the vast majority of encounters, in the classic showdown between a cat and a viper or a cobra, the outcome is heavily skewed in the cat's favor. This is true whether it is a domestic cat in a backyard 
or a wild black-footed cat, the deadliest small cat in the world, hunting on the plains of Africa. The software is the same. The confrontation between a cat and a snake is not a fair fight. It is a neurological and evolutionary mismatch. It is a battle between a creature that has perfected a single, deadly weapon and a creature that has perfected the very art of combat itself. The snake is a living spear, but the cat is the warrior who can see it coming, dodge it, disarm it, and deliver the final, fatal blow. It is a victory of a superior brain, faster reflexes, and a toolkit that allows it to control the fight from the first moment to the last.